Hello everyone, it's Tales from Studio Wildfear here. I have just recently updated the Modern Starter Token Pack for Foundry Virtual Tabletop to take advantage of the token administration tools in uh, Foundry Virtual Tabletop. So here we can see a, a preview of uh, a good selection of the tokens that are in the in the pack. Um, I basically made uh, just for this example, I've made each character um, as a wild card uh, 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 actor so that I can just basically drag them out onto the tabletop and get a different different token every time. So let's have a little bit of a quick quick look at the tokens. Oop, if I just get rid of these ones, there we go. Let's zoom. Oops, hang on, I'll go around the edge so I can zoom in a little bit. So this gives you an idea of um, the variety of tokens that you get in the package. So up the top here we've got, uh, who is this little fellow? This is Andrew the Soldier. Um, and then we've got, we've got Billy, followed by, so, we, so basically I've just made two rows of ten. Just to give you a quick, quick demo of what's in the pack, we've got uh, David, Got Jerome uh, down here a little further. Jerome on a bicycle. We have uh, Catherine with a chainsaw and pistols and a bow. Uh, then we have, I think this is Kenny the soldier. Then this next fella here we've got is Mick. Chainsaw, axe, sword got him with a gun, chainsaw, various different poses, and we've got uh, Survivor Charlie, down the bottom we've got, uh, who's this fellow, this is Tom the Yard Worker, then we've got another zombie apocalypse, Timmy the Survivor, and we've got Klaus the Urban Warrior, Keith the Urban Warrior, uh, Kathy, We've got Jenny Corporate Security with a dual pistols or uh, submachine gun. Then we've got uh, Anna the Freedom Fighter and back up here at Andrew the Soldier. Now, with using Studio Wild for tokens in Foundry, the best way to do it uh, so that you get the correct scaling so so that everything scales so that the character fits a five foot by five foot square and is in scale i'll show you how i've set them up so let's go to andrew the soldier over to the prototype so this is the prototype uh, window um, go to appearance so obviously go and find the the file so here's andrew the soldier Andrew the Soldier, that's the very first token, so we select it. Now if, if you're just using just that, you just want to use just that uh, token, so you you basically just you know select it, have it there, set the dimensions, the grid spaces to be one by one, so width of one, height of one. Now this is very important, set the scale to be two. Now by default it should be scroll it back down here should be one you want to set this to two now I'll show you why see if you leave it at one update he comes in and oh he's pretty tiny inside there that's because the token artwork is actually this big as big as the square now you want it to be the correct size so that if I go back into the prototype token appearance so you want it to be the correct size so you want it to be has a scaling of two so that when you place the token it's correctly scaled in the square so you can zoom in and out and it'll retain the correct scaling so as you can see there he's too small so we get rid of him and he's the correct size there so if you want to if you're just playing around and you want to use a specific 
a specific token because you know let's just uh, go larger icons here Oop, actually I'm gonna do this one so let's just say whoops I closed the wrong window okay so let's just say we're scrolling through here and you know you're you're in like a, a scene where there's no fighting it's just you need to track where the token is maybe you just want to use this one so you'd select that get select file update token that way whenever you place him onto the onto the uh, the map it's that particular one that's being placed now uh, so if you want to change it while you're actually in a game like you want to change it just for the scene that you're in double click on him which will bring up the character sheet for uh, the scene then click on token now you, you'll notice that it said token not prototype token token refers to the the actors placement in that particular scene whereas prototype token refers to the setting of the token for the campaign as a whole so that's a very important distinction to make so you want to change the appearance do you want to change the appearance for the campaign as a whole or change the appearance just for the particular scene that you're in so if you're changing it just for the particular scene that you're in just double click on the character click on token up the top and it'll bring up the this panel where you go in and change the you know let's just say this time you know you're getting into a bit of 50 50 cuffs maybe he's uh, he's armed with his rifle Update token. Now he's now he's got his rifle in his hand. Now a quick way to uh, make an army of characters. So let's just get rid of this. There we go. So let's just say you want to put an army of soldiers down. And what you can do is go to the prototype token, which again is affecting the the token for the campaign as a whole. Go to appearance. Now this is where randomized wildcard images comes in important so you check that little checkbox to turn it on then you go into the image file path go all the way to the end and at the end of each of these the image names is a four digit number change that from a four digit number to a star so that the star is a wildcard so it'll choose it'll choose any image from like I think this, there's about 50 tokens within this um, Andrew the Soldier pack, um, uh, uh, one character set. So it'll choose image whatever from zero to 50. So it could come along and, you know, when you put it down and go image 20. Next one could be image 50. So I'll show you. So you change that little wildcard, make certain you've got randomized wildcards checked. Go update token. Now, whenever you drag him onto the tabletop, it's randomly selecting one of the images from the folder. There we go. So the so you'll find the um, the the specific version of this token pack in amongst the the standard version of the token pack. You'll see a specific download called um, uh, 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 modern sto start bleh, modern starter token package bracket uh, foundry VTT so that one everything's specifically set up for use in foundry VTT if you use the the standard package which is a it, which is a collection of uh, PNGs it's the exact same thing as this um, you can use that in any virtual tabletop program that allows you to import images as tokens so you could use it in fancy grounds you can use it, use it in roll 20 um, whatever you like and I hope you have a lot of fun uh, using these characters and these tokens thank you very much uh, don't forget to uh, smoosh the like button and the subscribe button to keep in uh, keep up to date with uh, the new releases from Studio Wildfur thank you very much have fun gaming <laughs>